You're watching fourth and goal on Fox 40. Ready and break! Are we... When it comes to area rivalries, few get the blood pumping on either side like the Shenango Civil War. Shenango Forks, Shenango Valley, the Blue Devils dominating the gridiron, winners of 20 straight. Our game of the week brought to you by Rocco J. Testani, Matthews, Tritown Insurance, BC Stop PWI, and Visions. Second quarter, Blue Devils already up big and after a Cody LeMond, 100 yards, pick six, LJ Watson doing pretty much the same thing, but with a shorter field ahead of him. Taking this one all the way back down the far sideline, it's 35-0 Blue Devils. Then it's more Shenango Forks and more Watson. 30 yards all alone on offense this time for the score, 42 zip. The Warriors, though, marching down the field late in the half, Mark Mullins complete to Michael O'Neill gets hit but stays on his feet check out that effort finally forced out of bounds at the 23 but that success is short-lived Mullins picked off by Robert Story and that closes the book on the half it's a 42 point game into the locker room so we go to the third and the Blue Devils keeping most of the starters on the bench, but the Forks still able to move the ball on that CV defense. Third and goal, Gunner Giardani down to the half yard line, but not yet across the plane. So on fourth and goal from the one, you gotta go for it and Giardani into the end zone. 49, nothing Forks after three. So to the fourth we go, things all but over, but someone forgot to tell those Warriors Nick Pert taking the handoff and going near sideline, picking up a first down and then some shoved out of bounds and thrown to the ground well after he was out. That draws the late hit flag, so with a good field position. Mullins back to pass and finds O'Neal for the TD catch. The cheerleaders get to work for the first time on the afternoon, hitting the tarmac and doing those push-ups. Very next drive, similar success. Trevor Hope from 24 yards out and the Warriors Make it 49-14, but from there with time winding down, all it takes is a knee, and the Blue Devils win it and make it 21 straight rivalry wins. Let's find out how that feels, Donnie. Thanks, Jeremy. Yeah, I'm here with the Forks football te team themselves, Jackie Football, Jack Sherwood, Ryan Bronson, and Jack, I guess I'll start with you. 21 straight victories against Shenango Valley. What is that like, and how nice is it to end your season week eight with a big win against a rival? Oh, it's great. I mean, um, there are rivals, and no better way to finish out our regular season than against our most, you know, amped up opponent, I guess you want to say. So it's a great feeling. And uh, four interceptions, we'll talk to you, Ryan, with the, the defense, two for a pick six. What does this defense do yesterday that made this team uh, to be able to get such a big win? Uh, we just executed our game plan, you know, uh, go out and do your job. That's what we say, and uh, we did that yesterday. And Jack, a 33-yard touchdown by yourself on a QB keeper on the option. That option's been working all year. It's pretty much a Forks Blue Devils staple of success. And you run it perfectly. That's why I call you Jackie Football. You move and sway in and out between defenders scoring. Talk about that, that, that offense and why has it been working all year and it's been such a staple of success. It's just a credit to the athletes that we have on the team. Our guys prepare really, really well and then they just go out and execute. And L.J. Watson, a big game. But going back to the defense, let's talk a little about Waverly next week. Their big opponent, Peyton Miller, airing it all the time. Four interceptions, as I said, this week. What do you guys need to do next week to stop the aerial attack of the Wolverines? Uh, we just need a good week of practice. Uh, just do your assignment, like I said earlier. And uh, if you do your job, it'll, it'll all work out. And you guys finished the regular season with only one loss, getting ready for a postseason run, playoff run. What is the formula or the staple of success that you guys need to keep going as you guys try to get to the Dome and try to get another uh, state championship? We just need a strong run game. That seems to be what we do best at Forks, and then just got to keep that up and just carry it through the postseason. What do you think uh, you guys need to continue to do? Uh, is it uh, continue the run? Uh, is there anything that you guys think you need to change up a little bit as you guys go into the, the playoffs? I think we just got to keep a level head. Uh, don't get ahead of ourselves. Take it week by week and uh, play power football. And you guys, uh, you know, were able to rest a little bit You're, you, you, with, uh, you know, getting the second and third team in there for a, a, a big win. How nice is it, you know, getting some rest before a huge game that, that starts uh, next week? Oh, it's great. Um, you know, being able to get some rest and watch all the other teammates play that usually don't get to play as much. It's really nice and a 
credit to how hard everyone works. Yeah, it's great. Uh, you know, they uh, prep us all week and they do a great job of it. Uh, we say we want them just as good as the other team is and they do a great job for us every week. So it's great to see them in there. Well, it'll be great to see you guys make another postseason run, become state champs, and we'll be there ones uh, covering it uh, throughout the whole time. And uh, that's it for them. But next is no huddle. They know a little bit about that. Coming up next on Fox 40.